G'day people, Phantom KB with the latest Dono, it's new. We're doing top 10 best Phantom covers. Today, coming in at number 10 is Dramando Ferry's number 3 Phantom's World cover. It includes obviously the Phantom, I think that might be Diana, haven't read it for a while, but it includes... Part 2 of Princess Granite and a couple other ones. So, yeah. Coming in at number 9 is... It is the number 9 giant size Phantom, num like, annual, Men of Mystery special. It's... The covers back and front are done by Glenn Loveston. He's done most of the Phantom... Giant size phantom covers. Well, when we say most of them, we're talking about all of them. Coming in at number eight is, I think this may be a Jason Paulo's co back cover because it contains his um, usual ghost, go along the phantom by gaslight um, characters. Like Mr. Moonlight, I think. Um, Hill, something Hill. I can't remember her name. But I like it because it's gone into the like the sepia tones and the BWs and all that black and white stuff. Coming in at number seven is the last ever. Lindsay Walker cover, which is The Crying Idol. We'll have a look at the back cover because it's pretty awesome. And this, if she had continued to run, this would have been, yeah, her art would have been real up there. Real up there. Coming in at number six is a Jamie Johnson cover, which is one of the, oh, it's one of the newest Phantom comics. And I got it signed from Supernova, which you can check the Supernova video out. Um, yeah, it's on my, I'll put a link to it. Yeah, it's pretty good. And, yep, pretty good. Coming in at number five is 2019 annual Phantom at War, five stories. It's to do with Paul Mason. And it's pretty good. Pretty neat as well. Yeah. Yeah. Coming in at number four is the one and only wedding special. The 40, 40th wedding anniversary, 1977 to 2017. It's done by... Romando filming, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, it's some by Romando filming, I'm pretty sure. That cover... Oh, no, 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 no. It's not done by R Romando filming. As we have a look here, it was probably done by Manly. Manly, yep. Don't know. Yeah, so he draws... Obviously he draws phantom stuff, but I uh, wouldn't have a clue. Uh, actually, back in, I think, 2018 when they did this, I actually got two books of this, so thinking that might be some sort of collectible during the future years of The Phantom. It might go up in price. That's what I did that for, and it's pretty gnarly. Okay, okay. Coming in at number three is the first ever cover drawing, cover art by Grange Wallace. It is neat. It is what you call a very good digital printing, like very good cover art. We're talking mad skills here. We're talking lots of detail, lots of color. Pretty good. I sort of had to have a toss up between number two and number one, which you'll get to see in a moment. Coming in at number two, I got it signed by Antonio Lemos at Supernova, which you can check it out 
on my YouTube channel, I'll put a link, I'll put a link down below, I'll in the video, and it's pretty mad, I, okay, drum roll please, coming in at number one is a very special Part three of the Man in Shadows 22nd Phantom. It is Jamie Johnson. Whoa. And his colorist, Tom Mason. Thomas Mason. It This book came in three parts. It was pretty good, but I had a friend to subscribe for more of these Phantom K videos, like it down below, like the video down below, share it wherever with your friends, and comment down below if you want another top 10 Phantom cover, or if you want a top 10, or like top 5, um, top 5 annual best covers, or top 5 Marvel or DC Comics. Go subscribe right now. See you. Go to Phantom Cave now and get loads of comic posts.